Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect as well that's continually laboring his work and also do labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and in truth and sincerity and also in all charity all right um this uh video is going to be entitled um the hellenization uh um, and this is you know pursuing unto you know a video that i recently watched uh you know one of our beloved brothers in our camp uh you know the brother ryan you know uh and put up a beautiful video in which uh you know lord's will you know i'll link the 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 channel to the description you know you can uh subscribe you know to the brother's channel you know because uh you be putting up some good lessons man but um you know like i said land backing off uh the brother's video you know um which is uh centered around the Amer the uh, americanization of the people that are here you know and not just here in america you know with you know these other nations that that arrive here you know and um and experience you know or, or you know experience the american way of life but you also have other areas or other uh, parts of the world that have also been americanized or, or or westernized should i say you know because that that's the influence of this place america and that's why america is is is, is described in the scriptures you know and is uh is deemed as babylon the great okay because this place America, all right, which we know today, is indeed Babylon the Great, in which is spoken about in the book of uh, Revelations, uh, the 17th and 18th chapter. Okay, but um, you know the, the this is indicative to what Esau Edom, which is the uh, biblical nationality of the so-called white man. This is what he has done in the past, and this is what he's doing today. You know, and this lets you know that this man. It's indeed the devil that the Bible speaks of, man, that he's the wicked, okay? Because, you know, history shows, you know, receipts of this man's deeds, okay? And one of them is, you know, the Hellenization of uh, the peoples and particularly uh, the Hellenization of our people, all right, Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? And uh, guess what? That took place once again, okay? That's why when you read in the scriptures about uh, that beast with the seven heads and ten horns, right? One of those heads were wounded to death. And actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get it real quick uh, just for um, just for edification. All right. All right, here it is. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13. And um, I'm going to start at verse 2. Uh, this is at verse 2. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. It says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. All right? Now, this beast that's talking about, all right, it said it was like unto a leopard. All right? That leopard uh, represents uh, the Greek Empire, okay? In which uh, the one that, that spearheaded the Greek Empire when it was uh, first being established was Alexander the Crete. All right? And his symbol that he used during that time was the leopard, okay? But that was the, the, the beginning of Esau Edom being in rulership over the known world, okay? Because, you know, during that time, you know, the only, the world that they knew was over in the, what the, the scholars called uh, the Middle East, all right? And they conquered that whole region or that whole uh, uh, side of the world Okay, and one of the things that they did, which is documented, was to um, make the people Hellenized, you know, to have them, you know, take on the customs of the Greeks that goes to the clothing, the language, all right, the even the, um, the practices, you know, because they had their own, you know, uh, you know, pagan gods that they worship, okay, which, the, which is called the Pantheon, okay, which is no, there's nothing new because, you know, it's already. You know, Ham was doing that before time, but, you know, Esau Edom, you know, he's not original, okay? And so he took that and, um, you know, converted it into his own, 
you know, uh, form of worship. And that's where you get, you know, these uh, different, you know, false gods, you know, pagan gods, you know, starting with Zeus and the rest. Okay. So again, like this is it here, it is leopard. Um, it says the beast is like unto a leopard, which again represents the Greeks. Okay, so the feet and the feet of a bear. Now the reason why is the the feet is known as the feet of a bear is because that that bear, all right, is going to what one of the uh, so-called countries are used today as their symbol. Okay, which is the bear. All right, and the, the, the so-called country that used this or the nation that used this. All right, is are the Russians. Okay, now mind you, it says the feet of this beast. Okay, and that feet represents the end of, of an age. All right. Or an end of, of something that that is, um, you know, in rulership, so to speak. Okay. But it says here, it says they have the mouth of a lion. Okay. Which that that mouth of a lion represents, you know, a mouth speaking great things. Okay. And um, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Right. And again, that that dragon represents Esau Edom because this is an ancient nation that has risen into power. Okay. And it's his deeds. Go all the way back to the time of uh, when you had uh, Adam, all right? And before the time, you know, if you can receive it, you know, he was known as Cain, okay? And that's where he committed, you know, uh, the first murder. You know, he was, a, like the scriptures say, he was a murderer from the beginning and a bold nine the truth, okay? Uh, so, that's it on that. I'm um, going go ahead and go to uh, the book of Sirach, uh, chapter 13, is at verse 1, okay? And uh, like I said, you know, um, the Hellenization that was taking place during that time, guess what? It's taking place here today, which lets you know that Esau Edom, which is the true biblical nationality, the so-called white man, is back in power, okay? Because the scriptures prophesied that he was going to return back into power, all right? But he was going to have a little season, all right? And, you know, Lord's will, I get that precept, all right? Uh, so the book of Sirach, chapter 13, is at verse 1. It says, uh, he that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. See that? So it said, he to have uh, a fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. So in other words, you have fellowship or you, you know, rub elbows or shoulders with, uh, you know, a proud man. Guess what? More than likely, you're going to uh, become like him. And that's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, uh, continuously over and over again told our people not to uh, 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 assimilate, for lack of a better term, or to, um, you know, be around these other nations. Okay? Or not to get, you know, get into what, what, what they what they're into you know that's why the Lord separated us from the rest of the other nations okay because we're a holy people unto the Lord all right so that's why now since our people you know which again the so-called Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans which are the true Hebrew Israelites you know they um they have taken on the customs of Esau Edom once again okay and are consenting to his laws and his ways of living Okay, and the things that he worshiped, all right? And that's why a lot of our people are getting jacked up to this very day. Why? Because this is something that our Lord has strictly commanded us not to do, all right? To uh, learn the way of the heathen, you know, pursuant to Jeremiah uh, chapter 10, verse 2, okay? But, um, yeah, that's it on that. Let me grab this next one here. Drive the point home. This is uh, the book of uh, First Maccabees, uh, chapter one. This is at verse. Uh, let's see, Slaki. All right. Uh, so First Maccabees, uh, chapter one. You know, this is at verse uh, forty-one. It says, "Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people." Right. And this is uh, the Antiochus, which came out of the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was the the, the Lucian or the Lucius. No, not the Lucis, the uh, Flavian dynasty, okay, in which um, was one of the out of was one out of the one of the four dynasties that came out of uh, out of the rulership of Alexander, all right, because he had his four generals, all right, that um, went to other parts of the known world, all right, and established their dynasty there, you know, and through that, you know, came the um, the transferring or or the transformation or the conversion it's like it, of um, you know the people in which they had their own you know heritage or things that they they have for themselves you know to do their family line and then 
through that, like I said, through all those dynasties that were set up, that's where you had uh, the people converting over to being uh, Greeks. And, and, you know, and like I said, the ones that, uh, the particular that was a part of that was Israelites. Okay? But, um, yeah, so reading on. Uh, so it's like, yeah, lost my place. Yeah, so continue on at verse uh, 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, and everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agree. Right, it's like, right. So they put out a, a decree that says that you should leave your laws, all right, and do according to the commandment of the king, which again is uh, Antiochus or Antiochus. Okay. It says, Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. All right? So there you go. All right? And that's happening right now to this very day. Okay? It's, it's nothing new under the sun. You know, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. All right? That, um, you know, many of our people, you know, consented to his, his worship. Right? Which is going to the... Uh, when you go into a uh, true true religion, right? Like scripture say, okay. So they got into their own their, to the uh, worship that these East, these Edomites were getting into. They like worship these different gods, okay. And I read on it says they sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath, right? And that's what that's a part of uh, that consent or that decree that was brought down. It said, look. Uh, you know, concerning the Sabbath, you know, hey, you know, basically to, you forced our people not to uh, do that, man. You know, not to keep the Sabbath. All right. But you had ones of the nation of Israel. All right. That, you know, wholeheartedly and willingly, you know, uh, consented over to his ways of living, his ways of life. All right. And, you know, you know just bring it up again. You know, the reason why, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, bring it up in history is because, you know, history, you're seeing history uh, repeat itself. You know why? Because again, Ecclesiastes is no new thing under the sun. All right, but this is the same devil that ruled before time. All right, during the Greeks going into the Romans. All right, and guess what? He's back again today. Okay. But um, this is like reading on says uh, verse forty-four. It says, "For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange laws of the land." All right, and. and Guess what? Uh, uh, you got strange laws here in America today. All right. The reason why they're strange is because they're not lining up with what the scriptures say. They're not lining up with the words of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai and the commandments that he gave them. All right. So that's why they're strange, man. All right. Case in point, you know, you got this month, you know, June, which is what they, they deem it as Pride Month. All right. You have to be, you have to be the the the, the purest form of a devil in order to have a month. You know, commemorated the pride, man. You know, but guess what? Just like was going on during the time of the Greeks when they was in rulership. Uh, guess what? Those, those same, those same ones, the, the, the same nations back in rulership today. All right, try the Edomites, okay, which were the Greeks, or they call themselves the Greeks, like you. And you got our people that are subscribing to his uh, his ways of life. You know, the West, this, this Western mentality. Okay, so. What you see right now is the strange laws laws of the land, all right? And guess what? Our, our people, all right, are, are willingly, most of them, the majority of our people are willingly going into these uh, strange laws, okay? But they're going to meet the same fate as Esau Edom, okay? Judge of the people, right? Which 
the modern day judge today, okay, which is in rulership, is Esau Edom, okay? But guess what? Uh, as the judge is, so is his officers, right? Okay? The ones that are uh, up under him, all right? And it says, what manner of man the ruler is, right? Which is a proud man, okay? It says, uh, such as all they that dwell therein, right? And it's talking about these people that you see today, all right? And, you know, call all Yahweh by Shemuel Shaddai, the Lord has opened up a place of repentance for the, the, the certain or a certain of, of our people, a certain of the nation of Israel, which are the elect, in which Lord's will, we're a part of that number. Okay. But uh, we got the next piece of this one I was quoting earlier. I want to grab it real quick. Edom, all right, which he was uh, taken down for a time, right after the um, the pagan Roman Empire, okay. And um, after that, reading on, this is uh, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that, he must be losing a little season, right? And that thousand years uh, were, were expired, okay. And that was when um, Esau came back into power, and that was uh, and that was the start of the Renaissance era. Right? When you look at the word renaissance, it means our rebirth. Okay? So this man, all right, he was he was uh taken down for a time, right? A thousand years. Actually, if you look at the time that uh he fell, all right, to the time to when we fell, all right, during the uh, Byzantine Empire, okay, or at the end of the Byzantine Empire, you can see that it was it's the same number, it's a thousand years. Okay? So literally a thousand years went by or expired okay and then they came back into power and then they, uh, they uh, started the renaissance here okay so um and, and now he's loose during that time since the renaissance here he's he's been loosed for this little season okay that's why um now he's uh coming out of power he's he's falling all right because his his time is up you know his time of ruling you know it has an expiration date you know it has a time limit all right, now we're reaching that time limit, okay? And that little season is about to be up, all right? And everything you see here and now today in this current society and around the world, all right, that's that's uh, has been, you know, quote-unquote Hellenized, right? In which, again, you know, is synonymous with Amer Americanization, okay? Uh, guess what? That, that's all going to disappear, okay? And the ways of Yahweh Bashem al Shai and his ways of life, Okay, are going to overtake or is going to encompass the whole entire planet Earth and everything is going to be made alive again. All right? So uh, with that, I'm going to close out on that note. Uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. To next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Chakundash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this day. And also, our Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect as I continue to labor in this work and labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith, in truth, and sincerity, and all charity. And with that, goes to Shalom.